One moonlit night, Luna and Theo found a glowing key hidden beneath the garden's soil. With a twist of the key, a magical portal bloomed right in their garden. They stepped into a forest where stars grew like apples on the trees. A talking fox named Miro appeared to guide them through the magical world. The bridge to the garden was made of glowing music and floating light. In the Starlight Garden... Imagine being able to create stunning, multiple, consistent characters for your stories. Stick around, because in this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process step-by-step step on how to design characters that stay the same across every scene using AI tools. By the end, you'll be ready to bring your stories to life flawlessly. Did you see the video I just created? The character consistency is incredible. Now let's get started. First, head over to the Design AI website, or you can use the link in the description and create an account or log in. Once logged in, click on New Project, rename the project, and select the aspect ratio, then click Apply. Now that our project is ready, let's dive into character creation. On the left sidebar, you'll find the Character Tool option, where you'll have access to both consistent character tools, character sheets, and insert character. The consistent character feature ensures your character remains identical across all images. A character sheet is the foundation of consistency. This helps you generate different poses and angles of your character. The insert character allows you to insert objects or characters in the image. If you're starting from scratch, the first step is to create a character sheet. Here's how to create one. Select character sheet and choose any style that you like. I'll go with a 3D render style. In the prompt box, enter the details of your character, including physical appearance, clothing, and accessories. Choose an aspect ratio. 16 by 9 is recommended. Select the generation mode. I'll use normal mode for the best quality. If you want to use a previous image, enter the same seed number. This will cost 4 credits. Then, click generate and wait for the results to appear in the sidebar. Once generated, hover over the images to preview them. If you like what you see, you can either build a character from the sheet, create variations, or enhance and upscale the image. To make sure your character stays consistent across images, we need to train it by clicking this Build Characters. Then give your character a name and click Train. It will take around 30 to 40 minutes to train the characters. Then wait until the process finishes. Once it's done, you can train the other characters. Or if you already have an image of your character, you can proceed with that. Simply select consistent character and then choose a character here. There are some preset characters that you can use. If you click this edit button, you will see the image they use to train a particular character. Now let's add our character. Write the name of your character. Here you can upload up to 30 images and then click train. It will take some minutes to train the characters, so I'll be back once it's done. Now the character is ready. Choose the trained version from your list. Their description will automatically fill in the prompt box. All you need to do is add an action and a setting. For example, Theo is running in the field. Then pick your preferred aspect ratio, select the generation mode, and hit generate. Give it a moment and the AI will create the image. Take a look, the character stays impressively consistent. Now, what if you want to place your character in a new environment or give them a different outfit? No problem, just adjust the prompt to fit the scene. Instead of saying he's running, you could say he's riding a bike through his village. Also, I'll change his pants to shorts. Then click generate again, and just like that, you've got the same character, perfectly adapted to a new setting. All right, let's jump into creating a short story with one of our trained characters. Head back to the consistent character tools, click on choose a character and pick the one you'd like to use. The AI will automatically add the default character description. All you need to do is add what the character is doing and describe the scene. Then simply click generate. As you can see, the character consistency is fantastic. Now let's replace this character with Theo from the trained characters. Select Insert Character, and after the image is positioned on the canvas, it's time to select the area where your character will be added. You can use the lasso, brush, or auto tools to mask the area. In this case, I'll use the brush and gently drag it to create an outline around the subject. 
Now choose your character. You can either add a new one or pick from your trained characters. You can modify the character's description and then include the action and background details. Once ready, click on Generate. And just like that, the image has been successfully updated. Now you have four variations. Simply choose the one you prefer and click on Download to save it. You also have the option to upscale it before downloading. Now I'll go ahead and generate the remaining scenes. Now it's time to animate our scene using the AI video feature. Here I've already prepared all the images I need. Simply select an image and click on the AI video option. Then choose a video model from the available options like Standard, Kling 1.6, Minimax, Luma, or Runway. You can either upload a new image or use the one already on your canvas. In the prompt field, describe the action or movement you'd like to see in the video. You can also adjust the slider to control how much the video sticks to your input versus adding random motion. Finally, choose the video length, either 5 or 10 seconds, and once everything looks good, hit generate. Creating the video usually takes between 5 to 10 minutes, so I'll come back once it's finished. Great, it's ready. Go ahead and preview it. If everything looks the way you want, download the video. After that, just follow the same steps for the rest of your images. Next, adding voiceover. In this tutorial, I'll be using 11 Labs. I won't cover every single detail or jumping right into generating the voiceover. Head over to the text-to-speech section, paste your script, and select a voice that matches your story. Tweak the settings as needed. Once you're satisfied, hit generate. After the audio is ready, give it a listen, and if it sounds just right, go ahead and download it. Now that the voiceover is ready, let's move on to refining our video using CapCut. In CapCut, import all the files. Then place the animated scenes on the timeline according to your script. Next, drag and drop the audio files, making sure the narration and dialogue align smoothly with the visuals. Set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. After arranging your scenes, apply smooth transitions to create a natural flow between them. Test out different transition types to determine which works best for your project. To enhance visual appeal, add creative filters and effects where appropriate. Then add background music to support the mood and strengthen the overall atmosphere of your video. Take your time fine-tuning the edit, adjust timing, transitions, and effects until everything feels polished. Once you're happy with the result, preview the entire video and make any final adjustments. When ready, export the project. Rename the file, choose 4K resolution for the best quality, and click Export. And that's how you build a fully consistent animated AI character from scratch using Design AI. Try it out using the link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss future tutorials on AI creativity. Thanks for watching and happy creating. One moonlit night, Luna and Theo found a glowing key hidden beneath the garden soil. With a twist of the key, a magical portal bloomed right in their garden. They stepped into a forest where stars grew like apples on the trees. A talking fox named Miro appeared to guide them through the magical world. The bridge to the garden was made of glowing music and floating light. In the starlight garden, every flower held a glowing wish from a dreamer. Their wishes filled the garden with dazzling color and joy. With glowing hearts and new dreams, they returned home from the magical world.